Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, July 30th, 2022, week number... 191. Cut it out. Get back over here. I don't want to make you uncomfortable <laughs> or hot. Um, there we go. No hot flashes last night. I, life was good. This is good? It was good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Oh, well, we've been using that new Blackstone, really enjoying it. I've just been making smash burgers, regular hamburger, season mm -hmm. it, and then just eat it on a plate. Sometimes a piece of cheese, sometimes not. I, yeah. I don't do the butter or nothing. I, I don't want even a keto bun. I just and try to keep it simple. And some onions sometimes, yeah. yeah. The kids like the grilled onion, so take a piece or two of that. Yeah. But uh, really enjoying that grill. And I'm liking the chicken on the grill. Cubed up. Yep, cubed up. Yeah, yeah that's been uh, nice. Just with some seasoning and some butter, salt, pepper, garlic. Pretty simple. But I've it works. Been, I've been enjoying it. And then everybody picks at it in the fridge. Yes. Even last night, Lauren came up and stole a little bit of... I think she ate the rest up, of it. Chunked up chicken. Yep. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> let's see. Last week, I was 346, and this morning, I was 344. So I'm down two. Yay. I'll take it. Where are you at? Pass. Pass. Last week I was 162. This week I'm 163. Um, is what it is. Yeah. And you're doing, you're doing good. I've, I've been cutting up. Uh, Stacy gets, she's gotten some green pepper, some orange mm -hmm. pepper, some cucumbers, some zucchini, uh, things like that. So I've been cleaning them, cutting them, putting them in the fridge, and they all disappear. Yeah. So I know you're doing good with snacks and <clears throat> having your... Eating something and it's nutritious, it's real yeah. food. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. Well, obviously we're here, so we didn't win the billion dollar mm -hmm. mega millions. Somebody, they didn't even I win a dollar on my mom's ticket. I guess somebody did. Yeah. I don't know, because if you look at the lottery thing, it shows the next drawing is twenty million. Right. And it was one point two four billion or billion, something yeah. like that. One point two eight, <laughs> something like that. So um yeah, so somebody out there won. Maybe a group won. I, I hope. Yeah, Costco, um, my Costco anyway, 120 employees got together, put 20 bucks in a piece, and um, did uh, like tickets. Like a group buy. A group lottery buy. So um, I think they ended up with like $2,500 worth of tickets. Yeah, but you think about it, your chances do increase a little bit with a whole group like that. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We don't really, did we play the lottery? No. Just for your mom, right? Yeah. Okay. Because my, cause, cause my mom will take care of me if we win. I have a feeling you'd be all right. <laughs> She'd be like divorce bill. Nah. <laughs> Free dump. <laughs> and then I'll, <laughs> then I'll claim my lottery winnings. She can't claim them. She's in Canada. Then you'll live on a cruise ship for the rest of your life. She always says, our island is waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Be okay, we'd be on a cruise ship for a while. Yeah. Buy a big RV, travel around the world. Mm -hmm. I don't need a house. <laughs> you just have one to go to if you if you have the money. Why not, right? Just right. have one for fun. But That's I'd crazy. just be out exploring and traveling. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, you would. I would. <laughs> I wouldn't even be right here on this couch. As much as you, know, you hate driving, go. I know you would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Well. If, See, if, if you have money, flying is not even a problem because you could fly first class or have room. Because I just don't have room on planes. Planes are tiny for me. Yeah. <clears throat> but there are ways you could do it if you have money that it wouldn't be uncomfortable. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm like the cheapest Southwest, whatever the cheapest <laughs> flight is. That's me. So, oh well. Keep flying, waiting for another day. I don't know how many years it's been since we've been on a real good vacation last one, like a cruise um, or anything. your last cruise was when just before your My mom, mom passed yeah, five that years was ago. in uh 17 december 17 well yeah. you went november 17 so yeah about she five passed years. away february of 19 18 that's what i was thinking four or five years ago was the last yeah. time it would be really nice to go on a little cruise just with you and yeah just with the kids let them stay home oh <laughs> just kidding <laughs> Two oh. years, our 30th is coming up. Yeah, our 30th. Let's plan something for two years from now. And see how much world chaos we have and if we can right? go or not. It's, it's, I can't even tell you how many trips we canceled in the last three years, two years. Very, Every time yeah. we 
poke something and have it going and yeah it's been cr yeah crazy oh well what are you gonna do what i'm sure do? everybody's doing done the same thing and i think a lot of people are taking vacations now especially at work like hey i can take in that vacation now because things have settled down and you know I, why not because well, of that, for them, yeah you know <clears throat> the time and i just wouldn't have, i wouldn't want to be driving anywhere with the Cost of gas, gas prices, and, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's like doubled. A lot know. of people camping. Go figure. I wish I had a camper. I would love, even if it was just a cheap little pop up. I got a van and I got a tent. <laughs> <laughs> so I can live by the river. <laughs> live down by the river. In my Good van. thing we have plenty of, well, plenty of lakes, not so much rivers, but plenty of lakes around this neck of the woods. Yeah. It was nice, and we, uh, Bill's brother and sister-in-law, came up um, last weekend. Yeah, they're from on Sunday. They're down, from down in Indiana. It's kind of central Indiana, southern well, central Illinois, aren't they? Illinois, yeah. Yeah, they're right on the on the cusp. And they came up and were exploring Michigan beaches and and things like that. So we got to meet up with them for a nice dinner. Yeah, it was nice. Very nice. Yeah, just got to hang out and uh, yeah. The girls got to meet them for the first time. Yeah, it's, it's it's been a weird situation with me and finding half brothers and sisters I wasn't aware of until I was fifty two years old. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. So he's now, always wanted a brother. Now he's got one. Now I got one officially. Officially, and he's a musical brother too. He's a musical brother, and then I got a couple extra sisters. Mm -hmm. One in Colorado, one in um, just around Dallas. Yeah. Um, Denver and Dallas. So. Got a couple extra half sisters now yeah. that I just found out about, and who knows, tomorrow I could get some ancestry click that there was another one for all I know. Who right. knows? Who knows? A little crazy. A little crazy. It really is. So, well, on the keto front, um, we've been doing some more meal prepping, and we've been using that grill and making some meats, which is great for me. Yeah, I had chicken last night for at work for lunch dinner. Been taking it easy on, um, I wouldn't say cutting out, but just reducing um, the vegetables and the things like that. I was trying to go more just core meat and core eggs like a carnivore direction just to see if it would spur a difference in me. And, you know, I don't know. I think I'm about two or three weeks into that. And um, I really haven't gone towards the, the side of things that would be non-carnivore. Yeah. Uh, I've skipped because I used to do salads every week and I used to do vegetables with my chicken or whatever. And I've kind of cut that out because I wanted to see if I just want pure meats, if that would make a difference. And yeah. so far, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's been bad or anything. I mean, I'm down two this week, but nothing that's like, oh, I dropped eight or <laughs> something. Like, kind of like when we start keto, you right. always get going with that. And I don't know. Uh, still doing my card manager. Still, um, I see the doctor this week. Uh, we're going to be making some adjustments, I think. Uh, I've not been feeling good. I've been having a really hard time moving. Um, we've done all kinds of blood tests and things that are not related to keto, but just yeah. I'm, I'm physically not doing well. I'm not able to get up. I'm not sleeping. I'm barely moving. Uh, we had another trip that's scheduled for this month that I'm not going to be able to make it on just because I can't move. I can, I'm barely getting out of bed and walking around, much less jumping on treadmill, riding bikes, and yeah. getting out there and being active. And there's no way I can make it through airports and run around cities and do traveling. So I'm gonna let Stacy take Lauren. Yeah. And they're gonna go alone, and then I'll just stay home with Julia. She preferred to stay home anyway. She didn't want to go anyway. She's got marching band practice each day. She's excited. That starts mm. in two days. So I said I'll just stay home. Since I'm not moving, <clears throat> let you girls go, and then I'll take Julia to her marching band each day. So, yeah, it's just a strange pattern of events the way things are going lately. This is a trip that we rebooked that we canceled from another trip two that we years ago. Had to cancel. So the we you know the room was already paid for, the airline tickets were already paid for, so we just. Finally rebooked because it was use it or lose it by the end of August. So, um, so I'll lose mine and we'll lose Julia's. Yeah, but that's okay. Go and have fun for me. <laughs> I <laughs> will. Ahead. I'm Go actually looking forward fun. to sitting by the pool. Yeah, she's just gonna and go relax. Nothing. Go relax, enjoy your yeah. time. 
I know you, you won't. You'll find some something where you're going to volunteer your time and the whole week no. will be taken away. No. Mm -mm. I know Stacy. I'm really looking she forward to it. She still. <laughs> <laughs> Give no, her a day well. off and she does 17 other projects. But we have house projects to work on, but we just seem to somehow dismiss those. Really? Hey, physically, if I was feeling better, I'd be on my hands and knees and getting it done. You know, a lot of things are low down, like paint the baseboards or fix the flooring or, you know, just weird things like get out there concrete. and work on the deck and do the concrete. We got all the stuff to fill our little gaps on our driveway because their the pads are moving and yeah. got to refill it with sand, refill it with backer rods, little foam rods, and then fill it with the sealant. And the self-leveling sealant. To help the water stay off. The concrete and stop it from moving and heaving. Yeah, we have a long driveway, so that would be an expensive driveway to replace. Oh yeah. So the even though the backer stuff was all expensive, but got to get it done. And that's something we can't put off. We have to actually have to get out there on your next day off, where you're not doing the three jobs on one day, and uh, get some of it going. <laughs> yeah. Bad part is it's all low down, all on your hands and knees, and that's something that my back. You need to buy me one of those little scooters so that I can sit and just scooch down. I agree. On the wheels. I like it. Yeah. I like that idea. Hop on it. You remember those things we used to have in the gym when we were kids? Yeah, and a little, little scooter. square and had the wheels under it, and you'd get your fingers caught all the time. <laughs> you know, try to push the ground, and you ow! <laughs> I did it all the time. Yep. I was very uncoordinated. <laughs> I was pretty coordinated in being small enough. One of those would be nice. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Got it? Okay. I got it. All right. I'm sure Amazon sells them. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably find one on Amazon. Oh, goodness gracious. What's the last thing we bought on Amazon? Oh, for um, Julian, for Lauren, a uh, little, little baby crock pot type of thing that cooks rice. And it's just so yeah. simple. And it's so cute. It looks like an easy bake oven for adults. Lauren says... When I move out, I'm taking that with me. Yeah, that's what I bought it for. Yeah. Because she's been asking for it, so I got it for her. And they like white rice. I don't like white rice. <clears throat> I'm not a rice fan, and I know rice is not the greatest for me. So yeah. now if it's fried rice, that smells good. And yeah, me and I want a bite of that, but mm -hmm. I know better, too. Well, just stick to Excuse my me. hamburgers and hot dogs. Yeah. Seems like, I guess because it's summertime, I just want a hamburger and hot dog. I don't even want a bun. Just want a hamburger and a hot dog. <laughs> oh, well. So happy with that griddle, though. Um, I think it was Donna that made a comment or whatever. She said, it's not a grill. It's a griddle. I'm like, yep, you're right. Truth. Oh, the Blackstone? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I'm so used to saying grill because we have for decades, 20, 30 years, we've had a regular grated barbecue grill where everything falls through and everything sticks and it's pain in the butt. And and we get all the flare-ups. We hate it. And it was falling apart. July 4th, I went out there, worked on it for like two hours, cleaning it, putting a wheel back on that literally fell apart just with like pieces to try and make it stand level. And uh, after 4th of July, I said, that's it. I'm done with this grill. I'm about yeah. to roll it to the end of the street and pray that somebody takes it. <laughs> and uh, we ended up buying that flat top Blackstone. Yeah. And that thing is awesome. It's awesome. Cook anything you want on it. Breakfast. It is. And nothing falls through the grates and nothing flares up and burns and catches little fires. It's just, it's kind of like going to Benihana. You see that big flat top. Yeah. yeah. I haven't quite figured out how to cook everything on it yet. But we're, we're each time we get another idea or another like, ooh, get the burger press thing where you push it down and make it hard and flat and little thin. Stacy likes the burgers that way. I do. I don't like a fat burger. I don't yeah. need a ton of meat though. They so cook that's, really quick. Yeah. And they're really evenly cooked. There's no pink stuff in it for you. Yep. Can't go wrong. And then they sell this stuff. What was it? It, <coughs> called, it was called Whiskey Burger. Whiskey Burger. Yeah. It's a seasoning from Blackstone. We tried a little bit of it on the burger. Yeah. And it was really nice. It had a really good, more so than just garlic, onion, salt, pepper. Yeah. I don't know what's in it. Just Paprika a very different something. flavor. Um, it yeah. was nice. Nice flavor profile. Yep. <laughs> I'll probably get sick of that after a while, but oh well. Yeah, it's, okay. it's good stuff. Yeah, so we've just been trying to take it easy. I wish I could be moving more. I know you're moving well. Yeah. 
Stacy got a new watch. She got a, what is that? A, what's the word? Starlight. Starlight is the color it's of it. Not really cream. It's not really white. It's kind of I don't know. Yeah, it looks a, rosy almost, but I'm I'm not good with colors. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's a nice their watch. newest light colored watch. Yeah, star starlight. They got a great deal. I have it on my photo, so it actually that was on Prime Day. Switches the photo. Oh. Oh, so I, see? So when I'm at work, I can see pictures. Mm -hmm, okay. Oh, and is your mama? That's mama. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we got a great deal on My other um, watch broke. On Prime Day. Prime Day had a promo thing, something about, because we had closed that card, and they said, if you open the card, you get 200 bucks off. Plus, it was, like, another $50 off for Prime Day. So I think you paid, like, 109 bucks for a brand new watch that's like 400 normally. Yeah. So that's the kind of deals we got to hunt for. Didn't happen very often, but no. a the watch is, one, a, uh, is a necessity for me at work. No, you were that other one every single day for years and years and years. That yeah. was a Series 3. Series 3. And this is a This seven? one I can read. I'm like, whoa. This is a 7. It's a 7. Okay. But I can read it without going. <laughs> Get those up. Right. Because you can change the text size too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm very happy with it. It's worked out really well. Good deal. Mm -hmm. And so far, my arm's been touching her arm for the last few minutes and she hasn't even moved or no, I have given not. me the elbow. Like, <laughs> mm, like get away from me. Way. Right. Oh. But yeah, so, uh, you know, that's what's going on with us. Still trying to get Stacy get a camper so we can camp. We even get free camping because she does the reservations for camping. I wouldn't waste that on the campsite though. You get hundred dollars per night, and it's oh, she wouldn't um, waste it on the campsite, but we never do anything anyway. So what's so we're wasting it by not doing anything. I'm gonna anyway. do the tiny house. She keeps saying she's gonna get us a year. I found it. No, I found one house. of the tiny houses that they that they do, and that sounds fun to me. Yeah. I'll be I'm first in line, and we get that free then. Yeah, like on an off up day, to bucks. it's got to be like a Tuesday no, or something. Up to hundred bucks doesn't matter what day it is. We oh. just pay up to hundred bucks. Well, you know it's booked on weekends, so we'll go. Yeah, on the weekends. Week. Yeah. And I don't it's, care. I off during the week anyway, so it works out better. I'd rather go in the middle of the week when it's not as busy, and then yeah. more of a walk around the campground and enjoy without so many people. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not a people person. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to go and enjoy getting away with you. Well, say that. Don't say you're not a people person because well, you absolutely are. Stop saying you're going to book a tiny house and just do it. All right. You got I a laptop know. right in your hand right now. I got to go to work. Right now. So you got a laptop here. Book. I gotta go. Book it. I love you. I put a skin on this laptop and it is like still I'm looks brand let new. I'm keep chatting because I gotta go. I forget what they call that. It's just a skin. I don't skin, know, but I really like it. But it was really. It's purple. It's purple and it's smooth and it's comfortable and I even did the bottom. Keep it nice and protected for you. This is what, like five years old? Oh, the laptop or the yeah. skin? The laptop. Oh, it's a little older than that, baby. About 10. Oh. 2013, I think. So we're nine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Still works for what I need it. Hey, so it's a great laptop. Good. Some reason when I went from PC to Mac, I had a hard time adjusting a little bit for, because I was so used to PC. But I'll tell you what, once you go Mac, you never go back. I don't know. I, it just, it works. It's simple and it works. It does. My Windows PC, there's always a problem. There's always something wrong. Always something. something. Something gives something a, an issue and don't have that problem with Mac. Yeah. So <clears throat> very well, well worth it and it's served you well and it's done well. We haven't even dropped it yet. Anyway, I've got to go because i got to go to work. Yeah, we're going to get out of here. <laughs> you guys have a great weekend and, and a great week. I'll let you guys know what happens after I go to the doctor. I think I go on Thursday. Um, yeah. I think we're going to have to be changing some medicines. Uh, and I think I need something to help me sleep. I've tried every over-the-counter thing. I've even had some of the medicines know. medicines for sleep, and it's just not helped. So um, I'm going to have to talk to him. Maybe he'll give me a big hammer or something so I can go knock myself out and go to sleep. I don't know. But anyway, have a great week, guys, and we'll catch up with you next week.